We have a winner. How do we turn? All righty. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. Yeah. It's a beautiful day today. It's a real beautiful day today. Um, my name is Brian LeBlanc. I'm the president of Rolling Thunder Mass Chapter 1. And we're going to kick off and welcome to Rolling Thunder 34. We're happy to see so many of you come out on this beautiful Memorial Day weekend to help honor and remember those that paid the ultimate sacrifice. I knew it was going to be a beautiful day, beautiful day today in January. How? Well, we had a committee meeting uh, a few weekends in January. Uh, I think it was a weekend in January. And, uh, Michelle, you remember this too. And one of our presidents, Jeff from Vermont, he said, I know. Memorial Day 22 is going to be a beautiful day. We're like, how do you know, bro? He goes, because 21 sucked. <laughs> this year, you're hiding from the sun. Last year, you were hiding from the pelting rain. So, Jeff, wherever you are, thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Uh, we have a member, just to talk about Rolling Thunder, we have a member here from Rolling Thunder who's going to be speaking a little bit later in this program to give you a taste of who we are and what we do. So without further ado, I want to give the mic to a distinguished gentleman who I've had the pleasure of working with the last few months, Fall River's Bill DeMars. Thank you all very much. Um, I want to thank each and every one of you who came down on your motorcycles, on your cars. I'm sure you didn't walk, but you found a way to get here today. And Fall River appreciates it. We welcome you, and uh, we're sharing the same mission, Fall River and Rolling Thunder in the Fort War Veterans Council of honoring and remembering those that made the ultimate sacrifice, our brothers and sisters who never came home. Uh, there'll be a few things going on today. We'll try and make it go smoothly. So far, I've got to be honest with you. Part of my day of the ceremony has not gone so smoothly. But with this crew, how can I make a mistake, right? Okay. Uh, I'd like to call chaplain for the Fort War Veterans Council, Ed Bailey. Isn't this a beautiful day the Lord has given us? Thank God. Well, the president of Rolling Thunder stole my thunder, I think. <laughs> but I'm going to talk to the other guy. Please uncover. Father, thank you so much for giving us such a beautiful day. It's been a busy weekend and another day to go. We need your blessings for that also, Lord. But look around here. Look around with all the veterans that are here and all those minds that can remember brothers and sisters that have gone before us. We thank you, Lord, and we ask you for your blessings upon those that are looking down upon us, I'm sure. I'm sure of that. Whether they say hoorah or they said welcome, brother, welcome, veterans, all. Lord, bless these brothers and sisters for all their travelings. Bless them as they go home. And bless this day for the, and help them to remember that you are the, the one and only to, to, to give us the weather, to give us everything, and to keep us here today. There was a reason why we came back, and that was the brothers and sisters that went before us. Please remember that. Amen. Amen. Cover. Thank you, Chaplain. My pleasure. Yeah, yeah. Police honor guard, City of Fall River. Please post the colors. Yeah. All veterans. Whether you have a wearing a cover or not wearing a cover, according to the Department of Defense, you are allowed to salute. So when Carlos comes by, please present a salute.
We're now going to do the Pledge of Allegiance. Let in that Pledge of Allegiance. Is the microphone? You can all join me, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, of, the United States of America and to, to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well done. Thank you very much. Okay. Well done. You're dismissed. Next on our agenda today, please give a warm welcome to Miss Rachel Raposa of the Fall River Traffic Department to sing our national anthem. Please join me. Thank you. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we washed were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangle banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you very much. At this time, let's call up the mayor of the city of Fall River. Mayor Paul Coogan, please have a seat. Yeah, you can call him up. Huh? You gotta speak first, all right? Well, you want me to do this later or not? Right when you're done speaking. Okay. All right, first of all, I want to thank everybody for sh coming down to Fall River today. Obviously, to join us on Memorial Day is very special as we honor the people that all made the ultimate sacrifice or supported our country across the world in every shape and form of battle that, that they participated in. It's extremely important to the city of Fall River to do a proper honoring of these people with the wall behind us of the Iwo Jima Memorial and to have all the uh, Rolling Thunder people come down today makes it doubly special. Um, this is about the fourth event today so we'll have some more tomorrow and then we'll wrap up another Memorial Day weekend but we sure do hope you come back in the future and uh, go out to eat in Fall River, spend some time here, and of course join us next year at Memorial Day. With that being said, I have to acknowledge a number of people with the Rolling Thunder that came down to help uh, put this event on. So we're gonna give them an official City of Fall River uh, mayoral citation, and they're all gonna read the same thing, so I won't read every one. But it says, the Rolling Thunder, in honor and recognition of your contribution and participation in honoring our Vietnam veterans, KIA. And we all know what that means. And again, this is very important. So the first president or representative I'll call up is from Chapter 1, New Hampshire. What's your name? I want to thank Michael Iannuzzi for coming down. Stay here, Mike. Mike. Stay right back here. Yep. Next up is Chapter 2, New Hampshire, from the Rolling Thunder. Is there a representative for that group? Oh, here he comes. I want to thank Bill Dufour for accepting this for Chapter 2, New Hampshire. Thank you. Thanks again, Bill. Thanks for coming. 
Our third one is for Chapter 3, New Hampshire. Do we have a representative from Chapter 3, New Hampshire that would like to come down? Three New Hampshire! He has a better voice than I do. Three New Hampshire! <laughs> Bill! Bill! To keep it moving, next up is Chapter 1, Vermont. All right. They're not used to the city. What's your name? Bill Phillips. New Hampshire 3. Bill Phillips, New Hampshire 3. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. Step back here, Bill. Step back here, Bill. Vermont, Chapter 1. What's your name? Jeff Knight. Jeff, where are you from? In the Vermont. We're actually from Western Mass. Oh, okay. But we, we filter into Vermont. Well, there you go. We cross the border. Thank you very much. Thank you. Chapter 1, Maine. Chapter 1, Maine. She might be at the table. Chapter 1, Maine. Jessica! <laughs> Jessica! Again, he does not need a mic. <laughs> I have kids. <laughs> Run! Uh, <laughs> Next up is Chapter 2, Maine. Maybe believe someone's stealing your bike. <laughs> <laughs> He's in <a> <laughs> Chapter 1, Maine, and Chapter 2, Maine. Here we go. This is two main, okay. Two main. What's your name? I want to thank Dave Cox. Thank you. Next up, Chapter One, Mass. Chapter One, Massachusetts. Right behind me. With Bruce, right? Brian. Brian. You all know Brian. He'll be yelling the names in a minute. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Oh, thank you it. very much. Thank you, thank you very much. Chapter 2, Massachusetts. Thank you, Michelle. Here comes, here comes Maine. Here comes, here comes Maine, okay. And next up is Chapter 1, Rhode Island. Come on, Jess. And, and right now we have Jess. Chapter, chapter 1, Maine. Jess, he's calling you, girlfriend. What's your name? Jessica Violet. Thank you, Jessica Violet. Thank you. And finally, I have one more, Chapter 1, Rhode Island. What's, what's your name? Uh, Larry Brunel. Larry Brunel. Thank you. Thank you, Larry. That closes my part of the program, and I hope the rest of it goes just as smooth as that. Only kidding. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, we not done yet. We still need you. Do you mind standing? Rolling Thunder? We can't give you any colors right now. I have to Everybody, please, if you have any cameras, we want to preserve this moment forever. That's for when the mayor wants to run for governor or president. <laughs> <laughs> he says, say, I got support from like, yeah, you'll need our help. <laughs> <laughs> Please take your pictures. Take your pictures now while you can. forward again. Yeah, please feel nice. Guys, thank you. Guys, thank, thank you all very much. Thank you. 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 Thank Telephone lines here by JJ Susan. Good. Great job, thank you. I'm going to read the poem. I'm trying to read the poem. Is it, is it now? Yeah. It's up to you. What's next? Uh, Joe oh, no. Marshall. Joe Marshall's Joe next, of course. Yep. I'd like to call up. Brian and I like to call up a gentleman that is the chairman of the Vietnam Memorial Wall Committee, and a lot of them are here today. Uh, could the Wall Committee people that are here today, including 
Uh, our ambassadors, please stand up. Linda, stand up. Dr. Sprager. Brenda, I'm asking you to see. Where's Harry? Harry Therrien, dress blues. Where's Harry? Oh, he's already standing. He's already standing. Oh, okay. That was a short joke he said, but no, never mind. Okay. All right. But right now, we are going to call up Joe Marshall, uh, the chairman of the, the, that, for about three years, uh, brought us together to build this wall. Hold on one second. Here, Joe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Dr. Spraga asked me to keep it brief, so I only took one page. Um, I'd like to thank the um, elected officials uh, who've stayed, <laughs> Linda Pereira, Andrew Raposo, and the mayor. Um, Alan Sylvia was here earlier. Um, but there's so much going on in the city, and uh, I, I want to thank them, even though they're not here, for all the help in getting the wall uh, built. Um, Armed Forces Day is for those that are still in uniform. Veterans Day is for those who hung their uniforms up. Memorial Day is for those who never made it out of their uniforms. How we honor those who did not return home is through Memorial Day. It's with a, a humble heart that I welcome you, you all, to this site of the replica of the Vietnam Wall that stands in Washington, D.C. It uh, took us four years, two years of COVID to get it done, but I'm happy to say uh, the members, the 16 members we started with, the 16 members, that's a, should we hit the ground? All right. The, um, the 16 members that we started with five years ago, uh, we stayed together and now we're maintaining the wall. Uh, we dedicated this wall on May 15th last year to all the men and women on the wall so that their names and memories could go on forever. They never got a chance to be what they could have been. We need to be sure that what we do with our future makes them proud and honor them whenever we can. These are true heroes, and heroes don't die as long as we remember them. Every day should be Memorial Day. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Mr. Marshall. Now I'd like to introduce the Fall River Veteran Service Officer to come up and say a few words, Ms. Michaela Brito. Good afternoon and thank you all for coming today and it is quite the honor to have everybody here so that we can honor and remember those who have gone on before us. Um, I would most importantly want to um, recognize our Gold Star family members who are here today. Um, would you please stand? Thank you. Um, I would also like to take recognition for one of our most recent um, departed from here in the city of Fall River, um, Sergeant First Class William J. Burdick passed away on May 20th, 2022. So I'd like to take a quick moment of silence for him and his family. Thank you. And again, um, I'm truly honored to have everybody here in the city of Fall River honoring and remembering all of our veterans who have gone on before us. Uh, we have 40 monuments across the city, and so we've been doing multiple um, memorial services for the past four days. So we still have a few more to come, so if you're here in the area tomorrow, we'd love to have you join us. Um, starting out at Snake Hill that honors our global war on terror. Um, at 11.30, our Miller Monument for our um, Polish 
members um, at Battleship Cove at noon, and then at 1.30, Kennedy Park, the Fall River War veterans, and then our parade starting at 2, following a ceremony at City Hall. I'm sorry I'm plugging all the events, but again, thank you for being here, and um, truly an honor. Good. Yeah. Thank you. The next person we'd like to call upon to address everyone, uh, in Fall River there are 16 veterans organizations, VFW, American Legion, uh, AMVETS, and go on and on and on, Disabled American Veterans, and they're under the umbrella of the Fall River War Veterans Council. I'd like to call upon the commander, Robert Guinan, to say a few words. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Bob Guinan. I am the commander of the Florida War Veterans Council. On behalf of our 16 veteran organizations, I thank Rolling Thunder, New uh, England. I'm sorry. No one could hear you with the plane. Start again. Okay. I'm sorry. What? Start again. No one could hear you with the plane. Oh, okay. My name is Bob Guinan. I am the commander of the Far River Veterans War Council. On behalf of 16 veteran organizations, I thank Rolling Thunder New England and the city of Far River for being our partner in today's special Memorial Reef uh, Relaying event. But I especially want to thank each and every one of you for taking the effort and taking the time to attend this honorable uh, reef presentation ceremony today. I am a veteran of the United States Army who served in Vietnam. And it means the world to me to see firsthand that there are American citizens who appreciate and respect our veterans who made the alternate surprise. Your presence at this event fills my heart and comforts my soul. It spends the message that my brothers and sisters who were killed in action, but not forgotten, they will and are remembered by so many good people, you. When a man and woman joins the military, they swear an oath of office to serve. They also swear an oath to give up their lives if necessary. And those who have died in the, in the fight for freedom ask for only one thing, to be remembered. So I am so very proud of Rowan Thunder members and the citizens of Fall River who gave not forgotten their unique sacrifice and will always remember them. As a commander of the Fall River War Veterans Council, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Guyan. Thank you very much. Excuse me. Oops. I didn't do that, right? No, but you can take the blame. I'll take the blame. <laughs> <laughs> Another corner. Well, while they're fixing that, just to keep the ball rolling here, I'd like to introduce to you um, Mr. Jeffrey Doc Stewart, who is the liaison for New England Rolling Thunder, to come up and say a few words about what Rolling Thunder is all about. Doc? That's all right, I'll go on this side. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, before I get going too much on my very short, I promise I've got somebody timing me out in the audience, I just want to acknowledge and appreciate not only the Fall River Veterans Council and all the committee that worked so hard to put this together from Plainsville Casino down through today. I also want to take a second and recognize the public safety members that supported us on the route. Sheriffs, police, fire department, and a big
big hunk of our public safety folks are veterans. In case people didn't know that. State of New Hampshire, 63% uh, of our state troopers are veterans. So just as a sidebar. Uh, Doc Stewart, I am a veteran, United States Army. Um, I was a medic. And when I got out of the military, I continued. I've got 35 years as a paramedic. In addition to being a paramedic, I also do mental health on the side. And I'm here today as the New England Regional Liaison for Rolling Thunder. We have now have nine chapters in our organization. Here in New England, we have about 90 nationwide. And I first did my Washington, D.C. trip in 1995. And then I had to think about it, and I finally joined the organization in 99. And then it's history from there. But Rolling Thunder's mission, primary mission, is to educate the public about the prisoners of war missing in action issues. And to advocate for the veteran, for the entitlements, and I choose that word intentionally, because we've earned them. They're not a benefit, they are an entitlement. Came with our oath. I'll give you my life, in return you take care of me. That's mental and physical. So we advocate for that. We remember and demand accountability for our government for the prisoners of war and missing in action. So real quick, 1987, two Vietnam veterans, Artie Muller, Dan Manzo, were having uh, lunch. <laughs> Stories change over the years. Sometimes they say drinks, but good, good um, history as it was lunch. And they were commiserating, and I choose that word intentionally. They're both Vietnam, both were infantry uh, combat veterans, and they were commiserating about the fact that they left guys they knew behind, prisoners of war missing in action. And they decided to take action, and the following year, 1988, they had the first demonstration ride in Washington, D.C. on the motorcycles, and other cars were participatory, and there was about 2,500. And that was the first nationwide demonstration and it was in Washington DC and it, back then in 1988 you could actually get up towards the White House and they circled the White House and went up and down Constitution Ave and made their presence known demanding full accountability for the prisoners of war missing in action that they left behind. 32 years later as uh, Steve Sarrow who's the assistant New England regional liaison talked up at um, Plain Ridge, uh, Plainville this morning we moved it from the national demonstration to local regional demonstrations, and right now there's about 16 of them going on nationwide, all kicked off at 12 noon, and all talking about Memorial Day and demonstrating, demanding accountability. Why do I tell you that? This is Memorial Day. We honor the men and women who gave, and I choose that word intentionally, they gave the ultimate sacrifice. They gave their life in defense of this country. I, I mentioned earlier I've been in public safety for 35 years and I have had to do in my career several death notifications. Now sometimes I've done it right on scene, sometimes I've done it in the hospital, sometimes I've had to go to the residence and make that knock on the door and have that conversation with a mother, a father, a brother, a sister, a husband, a wife and say I'm sorry your loved one is dead and you say it that way you make the apology you say they are dead and you wait and you wait intentionally for the reaction and the reaction varies sometimes it's anger sometimes it's sadness sometimes it's outburst sometimes it's total denial you wait for that reaction and then you support the family as they go through that process and here today at Memorial Day we are recognizing the men and women who gave the ultimate sacrifice. They gave their life. And we recognize the men and women who did that and we acknowledge the families who paid the price because they were the recipient of that notification. Two military members in full uniform, depending on the branch, walked up and gave notice and had to say, your husband, wife, son, daughter, brother, sister, was killed in the military. And we thank them, and we sit for a second, and we let that notification set in, and then we go about our support process. But Rolling Thunder recognizes the POWs and MIAs, those, those that, that haven't come home. I want you to think for a minute this. 
God forbid, but for those there are some in the audience that have had this, when you are the recipient of that death notification, you are told your relative died. It's definitive. They're killed in action, injured, didn't survive their injuries, they're dead. But if you're a family member of a POW or an MIA, you're not told that. You're told, or you're giving a telegram or a notification that says your husband, wife, brother, sister, daughter, son, is a prisoner of war or is missing in action. It's a very different situation. And when I make notifications and I, and I tell the family that, I'm sorry, your relative is dead, I pause, and there's that process that occurs. There is no pause when they become a POW or an MIA. Because we don't know, and the family member doesn't know. They don't know what happened. They don't know if they're dead. No one knows. That's why they're classified, prisoners of war or missing in action. And Rolling Thunder Incorporated advocates and supports and demands accountability of our government for not only the man or woman who is or was POW MIA, but also for that family. So at some point, someone can go up and say, thank you for the sacrifice your family member gave and the price you paid. But, right now, with our POW MIA, MIA issues, we can't conclude that. We can't put that to rest. They're unknown. I don't know where they are. I don't know where they, what's happened to them. Were they killed? Maybe. Were they imprisoned and then tortured and then died? Maybe. We don't know. So organizations such as Rolling Thunder and other organizations that are here in the audience today, we advocate full accountability, demand full accountability, so that our government doesn't forget that the prisoner of war and missing in action. We demand the accountability so that family can have that moment of understanding and process that says, my brother, sister, mother, daughter died for this country. They're going to get recognized on Memorial Day, and we're going to be able to put that in place, in context, in our head. We advocate for those that can't do that yet, and that's the mission of Rolling Thunder Incorporated, to educate the, the public about the prisoners of war missing in action issues, to advocate for our veterans and veterans' entitlements, our rights that we've earned, and to demand that full accountability. So that's Rolling Thunder Incorporated. I think I'm under my time. So again, thank you all very much. We appreciate you being here today. Thank you. Thank you, Don. I see why I told him to talk about Rolling Thunder and not me. <laughs> now I'd like to introduce Bill DeMares, Fall River Veterans War Council, to read the Vietnam Wall poem, To the Wall. Before we do, can we have Brenda right here? Yeah. What are the two young ladies' names? Shirley Wood. Shirley Wood. And Beverly Johnson. Beverly Johnson. Yeah. And John Cavallo, can you please step forward? As we're reading the poem to the wall, we'd like to ask you, who have all lost relatives in Vietnam, their relatives are on this wall. Brenda's case, I know it's her, her father. So, uh, they will be laying the reason we read the poem. Excuse me. While you're sitting there, while you're sitting there in the chair or standing under a tree or in the hot sun, think about a bunch of old men taking a bus down to Washington, D.C. for the first time to see the wall. And this, uh, these are some of the thoughts of one particular veteran on that bus. Can I have your attention, please? Our hair was thin and balding, our stomachs heavy and round. Some of us limped and some of us wheezed as our feet hit the ground. 
We move slowly at first, as if on a sweep for minds, each of us making a journey to a moment back in time. Then the wall rose before us, black panels end to end, and each of us began looking, searching for a brother, for a friend. Our emotions spilled with memories from those days so long ago of firefights and brothers in arms, most we didn't know. Then they spoke to us, our brothers etched in stone. They told us to be proud, stand tall, and welcome home. They said, together we swore an oath to serve. They did not hesitate or ask why. Each of us did our duty, knowing full well we could die. And now, we Vietnam veterans, the world's forever chiseled names, encourage you to live your lives without regret or shame. We were killed in action in Nam's jungles long ago, but we will always walk beside you wherever you may go. Be proud you serve with honor, and don't hesitate to say you answered America's call to arms you did not run away. And to America, we have but one request. May this memorial war remind you, Vietnam veterans gave their very best. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to call upon World War II veterans that are here. Manny, step forward. Thank you all very much. Thank you. The wreaths are already placed at the monuments throughout this park, but we'd like them. to be recognized. Manny is 98 years old. Please turn around, Manny. 98 years old, Bronze Star recipient. <laughs> His ship was sunk, and he survived to be here today. And that's why over there you see the World War II monument, the Evo Zero. Thank you, Manny, for your service. Is George Donnelly here? Or are there any Korean War veterans here? Earl, come forward, please. Here's Earl Gordet, former city councilor of Fall River, very active on the War Veterans Council. Earl, would you like to say a couple of words to them? No, thank you. He served in silence and in honor. Give a round of applause, please. <laughs> we have any veterans here from the Mideast War, from Iraq, Afghanistan. Is anybody here for you? Please step forward. This is another gentleman that serves, that's on the War Veterans Council. The two young ladies, please step forward. So they can represent their public assistance from that. They're our most recent veterans. Again, you know what? When I was in, there were very few women. Now, look at this. There are more women than men. Give them a round of applause. I know we have some Gold Star family members here. There's more than quite a few. 
So if the Gold Star family members could please step up here. Any Gold Star, Joanne, Joanne here. Please come forward. Is everybody here? I want to I tell you, these people here, well, I lost a, an uncle who was seven years old and never came back from, his, from France. But these people are most recent, and they're still living with the loss of their immediate loved one. So please, at least give them a round of applause and recognition. Thank you. Thank you all very much. We have World War II, we have Korea, we have the Gold Stars. Um, am I forgetting any Portuguese? I hate to say that, probably a million Portuguese jump out. Anybody here from the, as Portuguese? Say, raise your hand, stand up. Whoa. One second. And now, thank you very, very much. Well, thank you, Lenny Tavares. We appreciate it. And now, uh, Vietnam veterans. Any of my brothers and sisters left from Vietnam? I recently found out that I'm the last living veteran, Vietnam veteran from my platoon. Give them all a round of applause. We're over, we keep kicking. It's these young people that keep us going. Thank you. Brian? Yes, sir. You call for coach? Go to the back, uh, yep. back pipe. Mm -hmm. Okay, have her do it. Now I'd like to. This thing on? Yes. Turn it off on me. Turn it off on me. Set me up. Now, once again, please, I'd like to introduce Miss Kerrigan Nelson again for no, no, singing. No, Kerrigan's not here. She left. No, no, not Kerrigan, Kerrigan. Kerrigan. Oh, she left, that's Rachel, right. Rachel we have Rachel. Rachel that was, I was just checking you, Bill. Okay. Way to go. <laughs> Could I please have <laughs> Miss Rachel Reposer again for singing of um, America the Beautiful? Sorry about oh, that. I'm doing America the Beautiful? Yeah. Any way you want to enjoy it? Could America you? the Beautiful, which one is that? Changing the list. Yes. They, ch they changed the song, honey. And they changed my name while they were at it. Two, they two, two. No, 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 we're going to do one because everyone is melting. <laughs> everyone up here is melting. So they're all in suit coats. <clears throat> oh, beautiful, for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountains' majesty. Above the fruited plain, America, America, God shed his grace on thee, and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining. Thank you again, Kat. Just kidding. <laughs> Miss Rachel. Yep. Okay, before we do that, okay? The Vietnam Wall, as you walk by the wall, you've been at the wall, you see there's some bricks over there. He did the same thing to me this time. He I'm did trying a, he to did give a, it to you. He did a, he's paying me back for when I turn the button off. Did I not off. try to give it to him? Yeah, yeah, you guys would back him up because you're all rolling thunder. <laughs> but anyways, anyways, I uh, want to make mention, Joe just reminded me, that we only have 21 spots left for bricks here at the Vietnam Wall. You don't have to be a Vietnam veteran to have a brick there but they're honor memory bricks in honor of the people on the wall and to keep their memory alive and your memory alive or the memory of your loved one. The applications are here, Joe has them. Joe, they're what, 150? Yes. $150 for each brick. 
Okay, so if you're interested, please see Joe, run him over when he, before he gets out of the place. Thank you all very much. Brian? Yes, sir. We're going to call for the colors. Next. Good. Retire colors. What do you want to do? Okay. Retire colors, right? Yeah. Can we retire colors, please? Stand. What? Tap. Taps. Oh, sorry. Taps first. Taps. Call. His fault. It is. Taps, please. Give me a second. Please set the attention. If you have a cover on, or not a cover, if you are a veteran, you're allowed to salute. God, please retire the colors. Thank you very much. Just a couple of closing words on behalf of Rolling Thunder. Michelle, could you please come up here since Michelle really helped me co-chair this event, so I would really like her up here with me. Please sit down. Please sit down just for another remark. I know we're all melting. My partner in crime. Don't make fun of Michelle. Except by him. He can whip your ass for all I can. Oh, all right, because all right, I know where uh, everybody's melting here. There's a few, in closing, I'd like to thank some of the people that have made this ceremony possible. First of all, Mr. Bill Damares behind me and all the members of the Fall River Veterans War Council. 
The Fall River Police Honor Guard. Yes. Earlier today, Ms. Kerrigan Nelson. Yep. Mayor Paul Coogan. Ms. Linda Pereira. Fall River VSO, Michaela Brito. Rachel Raposa of the Fall River Traffic Enforcement. Mr. Joe Marshall, Vietnam Wall Committee. Commander Robert Guinan. Doc Stewart, our Rolling Thunder New England liaison. Chief Bill Ballard, have I said that right, but Chief Ballard. Reverend Andy Stinson. And for those of you who don't know, the lady and gentleman that helped escort our Gold Fire families up here, they're the BMC Durfee High School Cadets. I'd like to thank Ms. Thomas Dalton and Ms. Caitlin Domer. Thank you very much. Thanks to all of you that were up here today and sharing with us how Memorial Day has had an impact on you. I'm sure when we hear Memorial Day, we have a lot of free preconceived notions about what it is. Some of us might think it's about beers, cookouts, grilling steak, days off from work, etc. Then there's some others that think a little bit about it a bit differently. Just ask the Gold Star Johnson family over there and how her family. Ask any of these other Gold Star families. How about any of you veterans that'll go buy a headstone and put a quarter, a dime, a nickel, or a penny on it? I'll bet they look at Memorial Day a little bit different, huh? Behind me, there's 58,318 reasons for some of us to think differently, and that's just Vietnam. Let's add about another 25,000 reasons from other wars that never made it. 39 people on this wall are from Massachusetts that are still MIA. They still have the cross beside their name. They're waiting on that diamond. Only as a village and not any one person will be able to get all of our brothers and sisters home where they belong. Together we will hold our government accountable for all of our servicemen and women that never came home. With this I leave you with a quote from John Logan, a United States politician, a Union general during the American Civil War, and an author who played a pivotal role in creation of Memorial Day. Let no vandalism of avarice or neglect, no ravages of time, testify to the present or to the coming generations that we have forgotten as a people the cost of a free and undivided republic. Thank you. On behalf of Roland Thunder, I just want to thank the city of Fall River. You guys have just been awesome to us. Um, all you folks who are still here, there is food and drink back at the Liberal Club. Live You're band. all invited. They've got a live band. So please join us. Um, to have some fun. We really appreciate everybody who came out for us today. You have no idea how much it means. Thank you so much. My closing remarks are simple. I have none, except Reverend Stinson, could you please close us out? Remember the Liberal Club is not too far from here. Live band, DJ, prizes, free food, Portuguese buffet, so make sure you go there from here. Thank you. In 2005, I served as an Army chaplain and uh, had the honor of being invited to ride to the wall. And uh, it was truly one of the most spectacular events of my life to bear witness to uh, hundreds of thousands of uh, veterans and motorcycles uh, bearing witness to their brothers and sisters that were lost. I invite you now to pray with me. Lord in heaven, we ask that you bless every rider here, keep them safe. Watch over them. Send your angels to, to ride with them. Lift up the Gold Star families whose, whose, are, whose heavy hearts still ache. Inspire in us and in our hearts and in every name we see upon this wall and every monument in this park, every soul that, that passed into the next life and gave the last full measure of devotion to their nation. Let them know that they are not forgotten that we do remember, and that we carry and ride with them each day. Go forth, and know God's blessing upon you this day. Amen. Amen. That's it. This Let's concludes eat. our ceremony. Let's eat. Let's eat. Let's beat. Let's put the wheels on the road and go. Kick that feet.